Hey guys, so this is my video on your nails. Um, I'm kind of a nail fanatic, I guess is what you could call me. Uh, I paint my nails a new color every week and I'm pretty obsessed, I guess, um, would be a good word to describe me. Uh, so this is what I do every week. Uh, I've been painting my nails probably since the fifth grade. It's like four or five years. Um, so I start out and I take some nail polish remover. This is like a pretty generic, it's like Studio 35 Beauty, whatever. This is, I like to get the ones that are nourishing, if you can read that, nourishing for your nails. Um, that's really good and I just take my little cotton ball. I'm not going to take my nail polish off or show you because I think you can figure it out yourself. But I just kind of take my nail polish off. Um, make sure it's all off, especially if I have red on my nails, which I do right now. This is a OPI color. I can't, I, hold on, is this it? I think this is it. I think this is an affair in red square. It's just shiny red. I mean, it's pretty, you can probably find it from anybody. But that's what I'm wearing this week. And so I start out and I take my nail polish off. And then I like to go wash my hands and possibly do a scrub. This is by Beauty Control. This is the instant instant manicure. Instant manicure. So if you can't go get your nails done professionally or you just need a little extra. You guys can't see that. It's by Beauty Control. Um, I really like that. It smells really good. I can't get it open because it's all oily right now. I just t I literally took it out of the bathroom. It kind of smells, I don't know. It smells really good though. And so after that, I'll wash them up, do some warm water. I think that just helps, I don't know. It makes it feel better. It makes it feel more like manicure. Um, and then one of the most important things is taking your base coat. This is OPI. I really love the OPI nail polishes. And so the base coat is a must. Especially if you're wearing a red color because it'll stain your nails. And then if you want to do like French or just wear a lighter color, it'll seep through, uh, which really sucks. Or if you just need to take your nail polish off for a while, your nails will be stained red. That's kind of nasty. Whatever. If you want to do that, go ahead. And then I will take a color. And so as I said, I was wearing Infair and Red Stockings. Is that what it's called? I forgot already. And a fair and red square, red stockings. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of the Christmas collection. Um, so I wanted to show you guys a couple of my favorite colors. Um, I'll start off. This is an OPI color. It is super shiny and red. I really like my reds. You'll see. Um, actually, I don't have that many. This is Crimson Carol. This is from the Christmas collection. It's discon discontinued. Um, sorry, I burped. But a really good dupe is Ruby Pumps by China Glaze. I don't use anything besides OPI except for this nail polish. Um, or at least it's pretty rare uh, that I will. There's been instances where I'm at friends' houses and they just don't have an OPI color. And so I don't paint my nails OPI. But usually I do. Um, this is kind of a mix summer and spring. But another one I like is You Don't Know Jacques. Jacques, Jacques, I, it's French, but it is, it's kind of a mud color, I guess. I, I really like it. It's really just neutral. Um, I think it depends on your taste. If you're super girly, maybe not for you. If you just like a neutral color every once in a while. I like pretty crazy colors, um, but actually I really like that for a neutral color. This is probably of all of my nail polish, this is my favorite. It is, we'll always have Paris, and in the seventh grade, I wore this color every day for a year. For like nine months straight, nine or ten months, I just wore this color. And it's actually like a reddish purple, I think. It kind of looks brown. My mom thinks it's brown. I think it's, it looks reddish purple on camera. It's a little bit darker in person. I'm sorry, there's like a glare. Um, but it's really pretty. So we'll always have Paris. I wore that so much. Um, another one of my favorites is... Bling Dynasty. This is from the China collection, but it's just gold. Um, it's really, really pretty. I love this color. I get so many compliments when I wear colors that I guess you wouldn't think to put on your nails, like this gold. Um, I have a bronze one, too, that I wear sometimes, and I get a lot of compliments on this. Um, so that's always nice. I like that for kind of the summer. or like It's a good transition color, going from like um, winter to spring to summer, or like 
summer to fall to winter. It's a good transition color. For just like a neutral pink, this is, it looks really bubblegum pink. It's really light. Isn't that precious is what it's called. I like to use this actually um, when I do French manicures um, on myself <laughs> or on other people. Or I like it on my toes a lot um, now that I think about it. Uh, another one of my favorites, this is Wing It. It's like Barbie pink. I'm not kidding. It doesn't look Barbie pink on camera, but it's Barbie pink. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh, me and my sister, we just had like a spaz attack um, at our cabin. And we were like painting our nails, and it was crazy. And we were obsessed with that color. Another really pretty pink, this is Charged Up Cherry. I already showed you, but it's so pretty. So pretty. Oh my gosh, I love that color. And then just Crimson Carol is what I'm wearing again. So those are probably my favorites that I wear on a regular basis that I've been in my collection for a while. Um, after that, this is something that I just kind of discovered lately. It is uh, just a nail drying enamel. It's what manicurists use. It's like a finishing spray. And it's just a spray. And you just spray your nails. I usually, I've been using it after every coat. And um, I used it at my cousin's house Christmas Day, actually. We were all painting our nails. We were painting... Um, my little boy cousin's nails, because they love to do that. They love dressing up like girls. I don't know why. He can call us, like, crazy, torturous people. They like it. So whatever. Um, and I was painting my nails. I painted them. I let my cousin paint them black. And um, and then they, she sprayed it with this. And it chipped my nails. And it was a different brand than this. This is Demer. I had bought it at Walgreens for $4. It's a huge can. Do you see how big that is? And, um, this hasn't chipped my nails at all. Like, really, uh, it lasts the same. I used to use OPI Drip Dry, and I liked that. Um, it worked okay, but I think the spray works a lot better in terms of drying it faster. Um, and it's, like, a third of the price. And it's huge! Oh my gosh, it's huge! And so, after I do that, I will just take a top coat. This is, again, OPI. Um, some people really don't like the OPI brushes at all. Um, I really like them because they're so big and they like get in your nail. I don't know what I'm doing. They get in your nail and I really uh, like how that feels, looks. <laughs> I just like it. Um, and so that's basically what I'll do. I'll finish it off with that spray and um, try and not do too much. I just take like an hour and I, last night I watched Pretty Little Liars or I watch CSI or Criminal Minds or whatever's on, um, and just paint my nails, and it's fun. It gets it gets your mind off of stuff. Finals is coming up next week, and so I paint my nails to kind of get my mind off of it. So make sure and do the base coat and the top coat. Those are pretty necessary. I know a lot of people don't like to do that, but it's a must in my opinion. And I really think it is. I think everybody should use it. But that is how I do my nails. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.